Hi and welcome back to Frame Nature. I thought I'd take us on a bit of a journey back in time to look at this pre-bonsai horse chestnut tree which I've been growing. As you can see by this clip, in January 2019 I did a trunk chop on the bonsai to reduce the height. I then let it grow out during spring and trimmed it down to prevent it from growing any taller. Then in January 2020, after I'd put the tree in the greenhouse over winter, I went to have a look at it and it's looking great. It's budding really nicely and I'm looking forward to what this tree is going to do in the future. I thought it was also quite amusing that some of the leaves from the previous year were still in the pot but I got rid of them quickly so I could see what I was working with. The first thing I wanted to do was to identify which one of these branches was going to be my new leader and then decide what I was going to do with the rest of the branches. I decided that the branch with the biggest bud was going to be the new leader and then the small one on the opposite side to that was going to be removed from the tree. Once I'd removed this smallest branch, I also then decided to remove the stump which was left over from the trunk chop. This had died back nicely and so now was a good time to get rid of it. I then cleaned the wound up a little bit so it'd heal over nicely. And then began to wire the tree to position some of the branches in a more interesting way. And that was it, I left it alone, I didn't want to do any repotting just yet, as I knew it was going to get colder over February. But now it's March and I've decided it's time to do the repotting. The buds are really starting to swell now, so I wouldn't want to leave it any later than this. The soil that it's currently in is 100% organic compost. So I really wanted to put it in some better draining bonsai soil. When I was removing the soil from the roots with a chopstick, I actually came across the conker which it started growing from, and I found this really interesting. I thought that the conker would be completely decomposed by now, but it wasn't. It was still there. Anyway, I washed off the roots, and as you can see, it's got quite a substantial root ball with some really interesting roots. However, they all seem to be growing on the one side. They're not growing on both sides of the trunk. So in the future, we either need to make it a feature of the tree to have the roots on that side, maybe have it as the front, or try our best to grow out roots on the other side as well. But I'm trying to touch the roots as little as possible this year to let it put on as much growth as possible. So once I'd removed the soil from the roots, it was then time to prepare the planting pot. I put mesh in the bottom and attached it with wire, and then filled in a layer of rubble at the bottom, just to really bring the tree higher up in the pot whilst also allowing for some good drainage towards the bottom, and then capped that off with sphagnum moss Sphagnum moss is great for root growth, but it's also just to prevent soil from falling through the cracks in the rubble at the bottom of the pot. I then filled my bonsai soil mix up to a level where I was happy with the tree sitting in the pot. And like I said, I've not really put the roots on show yet. It's still planted quite deep because this tree is still in training, so I'm not really interested on how it's looking right now in terms of root and nabari. I just want the tree to be healthy. The tree is now in a nice big pot, so hopefully this will allow it to put on some good growth. And I intend on keeping the tree in this pot for probably three years. It probably won't need repotting for three years. So there you have it, there's the horse chestnut pre-bonsai tree. I've got some more trees which I'll be making videos on shortly, and also plan on doing some more ecospheres this year, so look out for them videos in the future. Leave me a comment down below, I reply to each and every one of you, and follow me on Instagram at frame underscore underscore nature. 
there'll be a link down below in the description. Thanks for watching guys, it's spring so there'll be lots of new growth which means lots of new videos so if you're interested in what's to come make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video.